Hey guys, this is CC Cool Bucket. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another Aqua Grabber stamp. Um, you just go into stamps. It's the it's the one that you get for completing the Soda Seas. It's Soda Success and Soda Master, and kind of as a throw-on because we only have one easy level stamp to complete. We're gonna also be doing the Aqua Puffle. So, for the Aqua Puffle, before you get started on Soda Seas, what you want to do is you go into here and you go to the plaza, which, if you may or may not know, is where the pet shop is. And once you're there, you just go into the pet shop, and you're there. You can either click over here, and it'll walk you over here, and you can adopt one right there, or... You can, in the corner of the screen, there's also a little adoptive puffle option. Anyways, once you get here, you go over to the pink puffle, you hit adopt, and you can choose any name you want, any name that you want. I'm just gonna name this one, um, Aqua Grabber, because that's what we're using it for. And, got our brand new pink puffle following us around now. Or not, never mind. Go to our igloo, go over to our puffle, the game wants to load. Doesn't seem to want to, it's being really glitchy. Okay, the other puffles are moving. Not sure why the pink one isn't. Hmm. Okay, well I'll log back and see if it works later. Okay, I'm back guys. Um, that shouldn't happen to you. I just logged back in and I got my Puffle to start following me. That's a glitch that I think it's just a one-time thing. It shouldn't happen to any of you that are trying to get the stamp. So, you guys should be fine. Anyways, you just go back to the island. Um, go to the iceberg, actually. Because that's where Aqua Grabber is. And, oh, my pink puffle found a pretzel. That's nice. And, uh, you just want to go over to Aqua Grabber. And select Soda Seas. You want to select the main treasure, not any of the other ones. Like, this one says find the rare treasure, find the main treasure. You have to make sure for Soda Seas, you're selected on find the main treasure. So you just start the game. That brings us down. You can see my pink puffles down here. And she'll actually, they're not required, but as you did see just a second ago, I got the stamp in the upper corner. And the pink puffle will help you to get bubbles if you run out of air. But anyways, to unlock this passageway to the main treasure, you have to go around and collect all the cream soda bubbles and kind of unpollute the water. So the first one you just saw me grab is down there. It's not a very short drive with the aqua grabber, and you can already see the air starting to get less purple. The next one, I believe, is down here, yeah. So there's the opening to the main area, but it won't open yet because it's too polluted. So we need to go and get all the other barrels. Here's this one. Go up to the top and get some air. And you get 50 coins per barrel too, so that's always a plus. You can already see all the plants starting to regrow, like the starfish. And that just let me go in here grab this barrel, which is the next one. You have to be very careful in this part, because it's a really tight opening. I have gotten a lot better since I did that first tutorial, though. And every time you drop the barrel, it'll get less polluted, like the water's already pretty clear. The next barrel is all the way down here. It's a really long drive. But you go through here, and this will open up, and it's in here. But before I collect it and strand myself, I'm gonna get some air bubbles, which are up here. Just watch out for the mullet. You can catch them, but I'm gonna save that stamp for another video. Anyways, so you grab this 
barrel, and you slide your way out of here. And you just drop this one at the top. As you can see, the water's already gone to from deep purple to already almost fully blue. But anyways, the last barrel is in this cave right here. I barely grabbed that so it could fall on my way up, which I'm scared. Okay, that wasn't the fall of the grabber, that was my fault. Sorry. Anyways, once you take this one up here, you can just come back, and by that time you'll have 250 coins. 50 coins for each of the ones that you collected. And by this point, this will open up. If you try to go in here before, it wouldn't let you. But um, you make your way down here. And if you're worried about air, you see bubbles will start to come up. There is a bubble fountain right here. So if you need air, just go there and it will have some bubbles for you. Anyways, so there are these puffer fish down here. And if you get too close, they'll blow up like that. And it's really annoying you can get stuck in a loop like I did in one of the past episodes. Anyways, go on to this next chamber after you're done with that. And there's a giant puffer fish in here. You wanna keep going down and you'll make it into this main chamber down here after you go all the way around the puffer fish. So that's the easy part, believe it or not. The hard part is getting it out without leaving a life. Losing a life, sorry. You can't hit yourself or the gym. Or the amethyst. The gym, not the gym. You get as much air as you can and just kind of make your way over here. You don't want to lose it like I just did. Because then you might have to go all the way down. But it looks like I managed to barely blow that off that time. There is an air pocket in here, so if you're running low on air, you can just go through there. Oh, I was afraid we were going to lose that one in the puffer fish. But no, it looks like we're good for now. That puffer fish, I'm kind of scared it might explode. But we're just going to get some air. Try not to hit it this time. And don't worry about the puffer fish. If the puffer fish hit the gym, that's fine. You just don't want them to hit you. Here. And I made a mistake a couple times. You have to go pretty much as far up as you can, because this this area is really hard to maneuver, and it's really easy to get caught on those corners. But anyways, once you get up here, you're pretty much in the safe zone. You just have to make it up through here and go to the net and drop off the treasure. Maybe get some air. And you'll get that stage clear sign that you got when we completed the last one. And as you can see, Soda Success and Soda Master, as well as us getting the one for swimming with our pink puffle. Actually, yep, Aqua Puffle, Soda Master, and Soda Success. And if we go into our igloo, or our, not our igloo, but our stamp book, you can see that they are um, in our new stamps, as well as being in our normal stamp book. So, this has been those three stamps for today's episode. I'm CC Cool Bucket, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!